Hello, buddy. You're the nice boy. You're the not so nice boy. What, Sterling? No. <laughs> so we are going to do bull breeding soundness exams today, aka we're going to do semen samples, collections, all that fun stuff on the bulls to make sure they're fit for breeding. So I'll take you along for the entire process. It's super fun. <laughs> Viewer discretion probably advised, um, but we're essentially going to make sure that they're tracking okay, they're walking okay, um, their swimmers are good to go. So sometimes like Nutrition, coldness, age, injuries can affect breeding soundness. So you want to make sure that before you turn them out with 30 ladies or so, um, that they are good to go. And you don't have 30s open because they can't breed. So, waiting on the vet. We're going to do one at a time because last year they fought like crazy. The two new bulls were done before we bought them. So we only have to do the five, six, whatever it is. So... First up is Ed, then it's who we call A-hole. <laughs> then we have three more over there that we'll get done. So here comes the fun. Hey boy. You excited? He's acting all tough. He could whoop his butt. He could kick his butt. They've not met, so they won't till this fall. Edwardo. Do we need to widen out head gate? Oh yeah, I will. Probably should do that so they don't get stuck in there. Yeah, I mean when they're locked in, there's not that much walking. You're such a jerk. <laughs> Sir, that was a bit much. You just settle down. Just settle down. Why are you being so nice? Oh, there it is. So in addition to their breeding soundness exam, they also are going to get some dewormer and their pre-breeding vaccination for lepto and all that stuff. Um, so important things for breeding and then they get to go out soon. So I'm gonna go grab the dewormer once. Mom's grabbing the vax and then our vet should be here shortly. All right, we got our safeguard or do in the boys. All the cows will get this as well and I will share more on that soon. And then we got Vax ready to rock, just waiting, ready to roll, trying to play the game of bulls not fighting in between getting them in here. So it'll be kind of strategic, so see what happens. But we also got our um, sonus exam from last year so we can compare notes, see if anybody got like drastically worse or the same or whatever it is. Um, and he took the total of four bites. A whole bunch. Usually we only get a little bit. There we go. Hey, you do a good job. <laughs> good boy. 
<laughs> Beautiful swimmers. Did he full on present? Present? Like fully this time? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Usually they don't. Or he's the only one that'll even give us like half. Swimmers, good swimmers. Get away with that here now, buddy. You can see if you're in the pen together, you want. <laughs> the little guy sniffed his butt, so that's. He was trying to help the whole time. It was a little weird. <laughs> that's how you get your butt kicked, buddy. I don't know. Yes, yeah, but I was trying to make him kick Jesse's butt, so. Ah, I just got sperm on my glasses. <laughs> Beautiful. To the next. Hello. You mad? And locked and loaded for next with Baldy Boy. She missed it. <laughs> he almost got it in my boot. I'm oh, that would have been real unhappy. as he pulled himself back in. Yeah. Oh, he's stupid. Ah! Last bowl, this is our only limousine we have, so the rest of them are cement halls, or cement and then yeah. he's our last limousine since we switched. So, that's the guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Give me your bonnet. <laughs> no. It's not his first rodeo at all with this, he's freaking 10. He's not giving us a sample. It's also 10, so it's not his first rodeo. Are you trying to help? You're not helping anybody, just so you know. It took him 10 minutes, sir. You have to do it, you should just like uh, oh, the. A tuna show I haven't watched once in a while. A tuna show? Oh, what? They catch what are you talking the about? The bluefin tuna on the, on the yeah. uh, National Geographic. Yeah. They catch it, then they bring it up to the guy that buys the fish, and they got to do the, how much will you give me for this tuna? Oh. <laughs> That's what we should have done A little bid war. How much will you give me for swimmers? Well, you can change it to, uh, how good is this bowl? What's up, sir? Yeah, it's wild tuna, I think is what it's called. Hmm. Here we go. 
Swimmies. Out, oh, check it out. Oh. 17 left to go. So bull breeding soundness exams done. Everybody passed. Um, the only one that was a little off, uh, there's just two of them. Baldy was a little bit off. The younger two-year-old was a little bit off. Um, and then the old man, but they were all really satisfactory besides the old man. I'm um, not surprised these are only in limousine. So we actually used to cross everything to limousine bulls, but switched to semi-tall in the last, since I came home from school pretty much or somewhere in that time frame. A little bit before that um because we were not having good luck with our limousines simmental has been really happy with so the limousine is the only one that had kind of like a eh, breeding sinus exam but he is 10 so it's not a surprise we'll use him this year and then kick him out but we didn't have to test the two that we just bought because they were tested and guaranteed before we got them the one is in with the heifers right now the other one will go out with some cows hopefully later this week early next week to a small pasture with like six seven smaller cows since he's not very big as a yearling so i'll put him with some of my cows that are like a thousand pounders um put him up there and then they'll come home pretty early that pasture doesn't last very long usually if we have a drier summer if it doesn't then maybe they might last till september up there but he should have no issue with them and then any big cows we're sending out to pasture just so they don't have to eat so much tmr with this and they'll be with the biggest bull because we have a, one of the bottom cows is probably like a 1800 pound cow she is Paul. So, but yeah, that's, that's bull soundness breeding exams in a nutshell. It's super exciting. <laughs> we'll see if YouTube gets mad about it. <laughs> uh, a little disclaimer on here, but next up is running all the cows through for their pre -beating, goodness, pre breeding vaccinations, dewormer, and then kicking some pairs out to pasture. I'm kicking bulls down in a certain order. So we have a little bit of like a time frame window with the barn since they don't all quite fit in here at the same time in the spring um, for calving. But yeah, that's what's up. Things are getting crazy and I go to Montana very soon. So we're trying to get a whole bunch done beforehand. And my mom's having knee surgery and just chaos is happening. But Ness, you're dirty. <laughs> Till next time, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and hope you hang around more often.